I lost my Minecraft world back in 2017, and all I had left was a bunch of maps and diagrams that I spent five years revising and refining. Now come with me as I go on an adventure to get back my Minecraft world and to make it bigger and better than it ever was. This is Boaty Gamer Minecraft. Okay, so I believe I should first begin by explaining exactly how the idea for this world begun and exactly what I had left when everything went wrong. So basically, uh, I'm gonna show you the, the map and it was this one. And the problem with this map, if it looks like a tube map is because it was and it wouldn't work in modern Minecraft. The reason is, this map was built on the assumption that each village could be its own city-state. So I made it such that each village should be its own city-state and I would transport myself between villages using railway, using horses, but today it is no longer true that villages are harmless but useless as they used to be. So that means that I have to completely remake the the map of my Minecraft world in a completely new way that was completely unfamiliar at the time. So basically I made myself a PowerPoint to make to do a diagram of how the villages would be and obviously from the first map I needed to choose a central village and it's this one and I've already begun with making it and this is how it looks of course it's nearly finished and if you note that the textual old-fashioned you are not wrong. This is Minecraft 1.12 I'm on because the plan is rebuild the Minecraft world completely using uh, first using Minecraft 1.12 which is the latest with a world generation algorithm I knew at the time and the plan is to build the entirety of the railway network, the road network and have a little bit of a framework for how the world's gonna be and then update to 1.19 or 1.20 depending on when I finish. That's the reason why this central beacon is made of lapis blocks because I don't have netherite yet. And for this reconstruction project obviously Wadzi was a great inspiration and you'll notice things about Stent Village that don't really make sense for Minecraft 1.12 like this uh, elevator that is the way that things should work except it doesn't have bubbles because Minecraft 1.12 didn't have bubbles. You'll also notice that I have the creative freedom of creative mode and command blocks rather than having having the constraint of hardcore Minecraft like Wadzi. Even though Wadzi was my biggest inspiration for this, I did not want to have those constraints and so everything here is done with uh, creative mode and command blocks. And one of the things you might notice about Central Village is that there is nothing underneath it. This is part of what makes it spawn proof because there's nothing for mobs to spawn and you'll see Central Village a lot across the, the next few episodes as I make everything but yeah. I will start by giving you a bit of a tour on on the world. Now, this world is separated on two halves, east and west, and I'm first going to show you 
the east. And you will see these big um, quartz block structures. These are something I... This, this was of my invention, a redstone contraption called a horse diode. So what it does is you can go in one direction but not in the other. I will make another episode later on how to make a horse diode, but yeah, I will begin by showing you a little bit on the west side. And we're exiting Central Village on the, on the east. And you'll notice that is where a iron farm will be after I can upgrade to Minecraft 1.0. 20, because obviously the, the iron farms we know today wouldn't work in Minecraft 1.12. So it's quite a long way, so I'm just going to put it as a time lapse. And we've reached it, the edge of the nothing. So West of this is the central village area. There's no generated structures. I cleared the entire thing using command blocks and uh, complicated setup. And I guess I'm gonna have to do it again when I upgrade to, to a later version of Minecraft because the lowest possible height will no longer be zero. And we see here one of the entrances to central village called the Southampton Temple. So You'll notice it's a big um, interchange. I didn't notice I had this mistake here. Let me fix it real quick. Yeah. There. And now one can traverse to that, to that place over there. But of course, on, on that part, that's going to be the, the Southampton uh, tunnel. There are gonna be things over there, but there's nothing built yet, so we're going to go for now to the village of Southampton. There it is. This is Southampton. As you can see for the village of Southampton, you see some cauldrons. This is because this is going to be a village of leather workers. And of course, all villages are gonna have one of these, a pen to put my horse. And this is Southampton. It's going to be in a... Because swamp villages are of course a thing in later versions of Minecraft. And here we can see the living quarters of where the villages will be. And cauldrons for all the leather workers. And where there are leather workers, there should be cows. I haven't spawned a cow in the area, but I will have to do it eventually. So, uh, we're done with Southampton. Next village. And you'll notice on the road that goes from Southampton to the Southampton Temple, which is the entrance to Central Village, it actually shifts to the left side of the road, even, even though the rest of the microvolts is going to drive on the right side of the road. This, uh, this was to make the layout a little easier. But we've already, we already saw Southampton Temple, uh, we're going to go somewhere else. In this case, I'm going to show you the Southampton Country Club. So we're here in the Southampton Country Club, so this is where one would go to get a horse. Of course that would require putting up command blocks and such that don't work yet in 1.12, so it's kind of barren so far, but this is going to be important later, so next village.
finally, after a bit of a journey, we arrive at Grimsby. So this village is going to be a village of farmers, where I'm gonna have we're gonna, gonna have a lot of farmers and also this will all of these bone blocks will later become stone cutters. Once stone cutters become available to me in a later version of Minecraft, obviously. So not much to see in Grimsby so far. Let me pick a different horse this time. They're all white, but and we've arrived to the village of Hampton. So. This village is going to, like, remain with a sort of classic -y look. Um, the wall protecting the city is entirely made of cobblestone. I made it with some lava and obviously command blocks, but... Yeah. <laughs> Here's the living quarters of the villages and, and such. Of course, there's not much to see in Hampton so far, except... For what I consider the pride and joy of the road network on the east side. This is the Hampton Interchange, a magnificent network of roads connected to It was a nightmare to build, but it was, a, it was successful and it ended up being a three-tier interchange. And I'm really proud of it. It took me three days to make it. <laughs> but um, we're gonna have go to the beach. And this is the village of Riverside. Of course, it's because it's next to a river, being uh, repaved with sea lanterns. You're gonna see why in a second. But yeah, there's nothing to side except for the fact that this village has direct access to more resources. In this case, to forests via a tunnel underneath that pro that will protect from mobs. So here's where you go to harvest some trees and you'll see that the tunnel continues going underneath and it will eventually land on this forest over here. So, if you would, you can go to Riverside. And this is a tunnel that would take you back to the village of Riverside. And as you can see, we've made it back to the Southampton Temple because we finished our tour through the east side and we're going back to Central Village. And back to Central Village, of course, this is where everything would 
begin from. This is this will be our base of operations. And thing I didn't tell you about at the beginning, this gigantic obsidian tower is a mob farm. One that doesn't work yet. Why? Well, because it relies on the mechanic of lava of magma blocks producing bubbles that pull the the mobs down. Let me switch to game mode three for a second, and you will notice this here. Now, of course, I'm not sure if the squid will go away upon the upgrade, but... Yeah, it, this is the, the mob farm of Central Village, which will come in handy later when it actually works. So, back to our tour of, of the Minecraft world. We've already visited the east, now it's time to visit the west. And the first thing you'll notice here is that we have an ocean monument. An ocean monument that was generated naturally, but then I did some more modifications to it to make it safer to the, to the area of Central Village. And I'm gonna show you exactly how. So, well, you'll notice that the inside of the monument is completely hollowed. This was an idea pioneered by Wadzi. And, yeah, you'll see a railway line here. This one will go to Central Village. And, something you'll notice about this ocean monument is that it is right smack in the middle of the void. Obviously not at a height lower than zero because it generated at height 30 something, but you'll notice it is floating and far away from any generating structure. This is because this will eventually be a farm for guardians, a guardian farm. And I wouldn't want guardians or indeed anything to generate outside it, near it, and interfering with the farm. So that's why it's completely empty. And the safest way to get back is through this back entrance here. And we continue the tour. And here's a little something I don't really know what to do with. The edge of the nothing on the west side is hundreds of blocks away from anything useful. Um, the first useful thing west of here is going to be Sunflower Island, which is another 400 blocks that way. So if you could help me decide in the comments whether, um, whether I should keep the edge of the nothing at the, um, at the, y coordinate, at the x coordinate it's now, or if I should extend it all the all the way to just beyond Sun Sunflower Island. And that is Sunflower Island right there. It's a field where there are flowers. It's obvious why it would be useful in late games of Minecraft. But yeah, I haven't yet built the the entrance bay to to allow horses to to actually park 
near it, and there's a Mesa biome over there, which will be useful, obviously, for obvious reasons, when, when anyone is uh, trying to harvest a or whatever, or as a safe space where the can't be mobs. But, yeah. Back to the horse, and let's continue the tour. village of Ensa. I guess I forgot to put one block back, but there it is, fixed. And if you notice a bit of an end theme to this, to this village, there's a reason for that. If this part here looks like a stronghold, is because it is the, uh, the extension of a stronghold with eventually an end portal, which takes directly to the end if we just follow it. Of course, because I'm in an older version of Minecraft and in my original Minecraft world I never actually built anything valuable in the end, I am making a point to never loading any chunks of the end or the nether until I can upgrade to a hunt. To a, to a more recent version of Minecraft. This is a stronghold. You'll notice it's a little modified to guide the horse directly into this end portal here. There's obviously a pen to put the horse and this is where you would go to the end, which we're not going to. All we're gonna do is go back to Ensta and continue the tour. And here, back in Ensta, you'll notice this highway here, but of course it would bypass the other, the other villages over there to a place that has not been built yet, so we're going to skip it and take the Leicester Highway that takes us through the Extreme Hills bio. And we've arrived to this location at the edge of the Extreme Hills bio. This will be Enstershire Bank. There's nothing functional here yet, because the thing I want to build here doesn't work in Minecraft 1.12, so continuing on the tour. And here we are in the village of... And you'll notice this. This is a... A new type of farm which which uses command blocks, and yeah, I would demonstrate, but yeah, we have a, a bit of a tour to, to continue on, but before that, I will show you the village in general. I have a cactus farm here, a big railway station, but so far, nothing really interesting, so... On to the next village. This is the village of Lee. I will eventually convert this into an iron. Obviously, the iron farm isn't available in 1.12, but you know. First build, first build the network and then build everything else. There's nothing really interesting in Lima so far except for a big in big road interchange. But yeah, on to the next and last village. Ah. 
and here we are at the village of Ajaxacatlan. Now, you'll notice from her from the name, Acatlan be, being uh, on the Aztec language for place of, and you might recognize Ajax from the Netflix show Wednesday, played by Georgie Farmer, and it would surprise you that this place is full of farmers. Or rather, will be once, once I can replace all of these netheracks with composters. Because composters obviously aren't available yet. And we have here a very large farm with um, a few controls. These require command blocks. Imitate them in your Minecraft world. I have a sugarcane farm, and I tried to make a melon farm like the ones Wadzi made, but it turned out that in 1.12 they don't work. And Ajax Akatlan is the last village in our tour because it's the last village we have so far. And in our next episode, we're going to start seeing a little bit of what the next village is going to be and actually building it along so yeah so far we're done with Ajax Akatlan and another thing you'll notice of this village is having two big roundabouts one on top of each other you can't really see here but it is, and it goes all the way around the sectors, one bit of two roads, one over the other. The goes um, counterclockwise, and you'll use the counterclockwise um, roundabout to get into the village, and the counterclockwise um, roundabout underneath is the one that's actually going to get you. So. There's the horse, and we're going to use the, the clockwise roundabout to get us out of Ajax Akatlan and back to Central Village. And just like that, we're back to Central Village. Now, of course, this is a very large project, a huge undertaking, just to make the backbone of what my Minecraft world is going to be. We here, we see Central Village, and of course, there's a lot to to unpack here. I might talk about it in a later episode, but yeah. I hope you can come with me to this adventure to get back my old Minecraft world and I will see you then. I don't really have an outro, I'm just going to beg you to press the subscribe button and hit the bell icon. See ya!